First, let me say we haven't seen this gentleman in quite some time, and we welcome him back, Chef Gianfranco Gianella, correct? Campanella. Campanella, I apologize. Cranston, and your restaurant is Primo, correct? Correct. Now, uh, you've got a special dish for us today. This we is do. We called the Roadshow. We did a chicken. It's a spinoff on a chicken franchise, so we decided to call it Chicken Ella Roadshow. Okay. So and you got a lot of ingredients here. We do. We have uh, we have our chicken, of course. We have some long stem artichokes, which you can use regular artichokes. Mm -hmm. Our own house roasted peppers. Oh wow! Butter, eggs, grated cheese, salt, pepper, flour. Our own house made fresh mozzarella. I'm gonna say fresh mozzarella. Some lemon, a little chicken yeah, stock, may, and of course the white wine. May, sure, may I, I even got some wine for you. Yeah, I pick a little of the of mozzarella course. because I, I just love good mozzarella. <laughs> That's fantastic. So how are we going to cook this up? We're going to batter the chicken, mm. hand sear it, add the ingredients, finish it with some love. We need to pound down the chicken, Andy? Yep. Okay. So I guess uh, we're going to pound down the chicken and... Right. Ready to do it now or...? No, 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 no. Okay. I just want to make sure that we understand what we're going to do. we got all the ingredients. We're going to pound down the chicken eventually. Yep. And then we're going to start adding things in, in, in the... Uh, sear in, the chicken colors after the chicken. we egg batter them. Add some Salt white wine. things. Are we going to put it in the oven at some point? No, we're going to actually finish it right on the stove. Really? Right in the same pan. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait for it. We're going to start when we come back. All right, sir. All right. Back to you. All right, Vincent. Lily, what's going on? Oh, you've caught us just in time. <laughs> I'm going to pound this chicken. That's what we're doing here. Look at this thing. Look at this. is a serious kitchen appliance tool. That's a small one. I was going to bring Oh, it is? One this is a small yeah. one? Oh, boy. All right, so how do we do this? I'm going to put this. I don't. I, don't, I hate when the spla it splatters and the guts get exactly. all over the place. So we butterfly some chicken breasts. Okay. And you're just going to put them in the plastic. That'll okay. keep the splatter. And These keep are pretty thin already. You want to make them even thinner? Just going to pound them out so they're even, so they cook even. Gotcha, with gotcha, gotcha. I was wondering why that, why you would do that, but that makes that makes perfect sense. Now, how many of these can I put in here at a time? Is, is, will two work? Uh, as yeah, many as you can fit. All right. So here we go. We're going to pound this chicken. Oh, that fit. You know what? I like that. All this aggression with all the things that we that annoy us that we were talking about just a moment ago. You can get it right out on the chicken here. There you go. Now, don't go too crazy because right. you want to make any holes in the chicken. Okay. So you can borrow that for later if you have more aggression. <laughs> all right. So what are we going to do with this after it's, uh, after it's all nice after and thin? After it's all set and it's all thin, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to take some flour. Okay. And you're going to actually dredge, dredge it. Some flour. Now, we don't have to put this in egg in order for it to stick. We can just put it right in the flour, right? Flour, so the egg sticks right to the Oh, gotcha. To the flour. Okay, nice so and evenly flour coated. first. Okay, and then... You're going to dip it in the egg. Now, what's in this? Because I also see some green pieces. Is this cheese, too? And yeah, what we did is we took some Pecorino Romano. Oh, very nice. Salt, pepper, mm -hmm. eggs, and some parsley. Awesome. And uh, about how many... Uh, how and that's the reason why you don't need to season the flour, because the seasoning's already in the egg. Gotcha, perfect. So. Well, I tell you what, Ian, just, we're going to continue pounding this chicken over here and then dredging. I, li I just like that word, dredging. dredging, yeah. So we're going to dredge the chicken, and then we're going to start cooking up when Vince comes in here. For now, though, the recipe and ingredients are online at foxprovidence.com. Well, we're back in the Roadshow Kitchen. As I said earlier, we haven't seen this chef in quite some time. We're delighted to have him back, John Franco Campanella from Primo Restaurant in Cranston, one of the best chefs you're going to find. If you go in that restaurant, you are going to love everything. That's true, because a, a little while back, uh, some of the ladies from the road show went to your restaurant and uh, tried your cooking, and it was just as delicious, if not more, than uh, what you make on the road show. How are things going over there at Primo? Great. The nice thing about Primo's, totally different atmosphere. Really? Mm -hmm. Small, tiny, as big as this kitchen. Really? really? Yeah, but it's a specialty market, gourmet right. foods, and we customize everything, and I'm like That's one of the awesome. housewives. We right. trade recipes. <laughs> And so it's very intimate. Tips. Very cool. Very intimate. Very not overwhelming. No, not at all. No Neighborhood line out place. the door. Do you Neighborhood pick, place. Do you pick Great. your lemons off the wreaths from fresh Farish this Farms? Oh, fresh this morning. Well, is it really? Yeah. Hmm. Guess what the big nice. fresh one is over there. What's that? <laughs> the oh, yes. Actually, Vince was raving about this. Oh. Do you make this? or We make our own house oh. roasted mozzarella. Uh, own house roasted peppers, our own fresh mozzarella. That's great. And, and Vince was saying it was so buttery and delicious. Creamy. It was fantastic. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Wonderful. It was fantastic. Well, let's get started here because we want to use some of these ingredients. Okay. Yeah. Vince, yes, sir. What I have here is some oil in the pan. Yes, and Already. I promise not to burn you this time. No, nope, thank <laughs> you. The last time I burned you a little bit. I apologize. It's okay. Um, medium heat. Yep. And what you're going to do is just take a, about four of those chicken cutlets that have already been dredged in the flour. Mm -hmm. Your favorite word of the yes, day. Yes, I do. I love saying dredged. I don't and know why. And dipped in the egg. 
There you go. Is that a little better? Those? There's two here. Is there two there? Yep. Nice and evenly in the pan. And two more. We'll call it a day. <laughs> um, a little better, no? Yep, we're just going to split them up. All right? You want another one? Right. Nope, that's, no, that's perfect. Good. Oh, come on. One more. I don't think we can fit it. Really? Don't crowd the pan. <laughs> it's a party. Don't crowd the chicken. That's the number one rule of making chicken Listen, on the road show. John, next time you come back, you got you to gotta bring bigger pan. Bigger pan. Hey, yeah, it's a small it. restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Everything is small. And how long, how long do you, when do you know that the chicken is done? All right. If you look around the edges okay. of the chicken, yep. you're going to start seeing the egg uh, start to brown. Okay. And you'll see it puff up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lighten up. That's when you know that it's time to turn it over. And that's okay. why you want it to be in medium heat, right? Because you don't want it to get brown sooner exactly. than the chicken is actually right. cooked. Exactly. Okay. And, and, then, you do, and you do turn the chicken. You do turn the chicken. Okay. The good thing about a medium heat is that if you're busy doing something else, which mm -hmm. you shouldn't be when you're cooking, right. you should just be but cooking. But that's usually the case. But in case, case you're yeah. having a glass of wine or something, sure. you don't have to worry about burning Arguing it. Arguing with your wife. So, <laughs> exactly. So now you can flip the chicken over. Yeah. And... Um, mm. You want me to flip? Yeah, flip. You yeah. cook. I'll talk. Okay. <laughs> Why are you here, my friend? Oh, look. I can see that color already. Yep. Yeah, that's nice. Now, can you flip these a couple times? Because since they're cooking in oil, or will they, I, I imagine they won't dry out. They're not going to dry out. Uh, the batter is going to sear in all the flavor, okay. all the moisture as well. Okay. So what, you don't want to cook it too much because what we're going to do is oh, develop a on. sauce in the pan. Oh, I see. Okay. And then it's going to simmer in, and then that's so going to get absorbed up. So you don't want to soak up, up. all of the uh, oil before all the you oil, make the sauce. Exactly. Okay. So at this point, you can peek once it's once it's time to we'll see do. if it's ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can just guess it after about okay. two minutes because right. it's going to stay on that bottom. Right. Side for a little bit, okay. so it's now, okay. Now, some people I know will actually take a knife and they'll give a little cut in the middle to take a look. No Don't need. By the time the sauce comes together, mm -hmm. it's cooked. Okay. These are so thin, you pound them yeah, that's perfectly. Right. I, so. did, I did, as a matter of fact. Right. Thank you, perfectly. What's in here? That's chicken stock. Okay. And a little bit of white wine. So what we're going to do now, this is where you got to be careful. Okay. This yes. is where you just got to... It's tricky? Yeah, well, not yeah, that. It's know. dangerous. Okay. So we're just going to drain off the excess. And what you can do at home is you can pull the chicken out of the pan. Okay. And then drain out the excess mm -hmm. oil, something that's not going to melt, something it, that's not going to burn. And that's olive oil, correct? That's uh, We use actually a blended oil just blended to sear oil. it. There you can okay. use canola, soybean. Okay. It has a higher smoking point. I see. So at this point, you're going to add some white wine and chicken stock into this. About half that amount of chicken stock and the whole white wine. Okay. I actually like that you, uh, that you put the white wine in the glass because it shows you just how much you can drink before you have to stop exactly. and put it in the uh, recipe. Sometimes, actually, you know, you'll have a, a glass of wine left over in the fridge. You think, what do I do with this? You can throw it in. Exactly. Now you're going to start handing me some ingredients. All right, yeah. what are we doing? Uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. A little and bit of salt. And you use uh, kosher salt. Right? Kosher salt, yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with a little bit of salt and pepper, and okay. then at the end you can always adjust the season. Mm -hmm. And we only have about 30 seconds left, so just okay. really quickly tell me what else is going to go in this. Then we're going to add the roasted peppers, mm -hmm. yep. the artichokes. Yep. Whole, the long stem artichokes just like this, yep. you don't have to cut them up? You can okay. use quartered artichokes if you want. We happen to have the long stems, so we use them. Wow. What else we got? You're going to add some butter to this, a okay. couple tablespoons. Here's some butter. And then what you're going to do is you're going to simmer down this sauce. Mm -hmm. Once it blends, and right before it's ready, about five, six minutes, mm -hmm. quick yeah. dish. Um, you're going to add the slices of fresh mozzarella Just right, right to the on top. top of the chicken, right? <laughs> you got, you got to be kidding. Once the mozzarella is melted, <laughs> show them what we have. Lily. Well, we have it, this Wait, right here. You. Doesn't this look heavenly? Oh, you got to be kidding. I absolutely love this. And I tell you what, since we only have a second left, I'm going to dig right in. You go take right a bite here. of this. While, while we bring in Michelle Muscatello... Who is Italian <laughs> and Michelle? I mean, you got to know the pounded chicken over here. It's breaded. We got the mozzarella. We got the artichokes. We got a little wine in here. You know that this is fabulous. Mm. So good, right? Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Delicious. Now we've got great food in here, but uh, the weather. Well, 